Hello, welcome back to another video. You guys seem to really like my haul video, so today I thought I would go ahead and share what I got from Amazon recently. This is a couple different orders because of the free shipping, and I have a few more things coming. I'm gonna show them to you in this video, so we can just do a one main video where I'm gonna show you all of my favorite supplies from Amazon. These are things that I order over and over. I do have my links below. Those are affiliate links. I get a teensy tiny commission if you use my link to order something if you want these items and you don't want to use my link then you can you know gladly look them up on your own but I'm just trying to save you some time to put the links below it's actually a lot of time for me to put those links down below or it takes a lot of time to get those links anyways other than that um, let's just get started I'm gonna grab things out of my box and I have a few things here that are already opened okay the first thing that I am loving is presentation paper. I wish I had something to show you. I don't think I do. Um, basically, it's just a nicer paper. It's still a thin like copy paper weight and you can't really tell what it looks like, you know, but it's just something I ordered. Um, but it just makes your things look so much more crisp and nice and it's a little bit more expensive than copy paper but it is really good if you are using printables in your journals or journal kits and things like that so i already opened it and have been using it so i just have that to show you the next thing if you are someone who likes to make uh, shaker cards or any kind of windows um, you probably use packaging or acetate and I find it kind of nice to have some thicker acetate this is a pack of I think 20 or something and they're 12 by 12 uh, this lasts me like a year and um, you can't really tell but it's it's pretty like pretty thick but also flexible enough to go in a journal and I'm telling you I've tried to buy this other places and it is definitely the best price um, on Amazon for at least uh, that's what I've found so I have a nice big new pack there um, so let's see also a huge thing of guest checks now I know a lot most people might not need to restock and buy these things in bulk but it's just so much less expensive especially if you're someone who makes journals or you have an Etsy shop and you know you sell journal kits or something like that this is the best place that I have found to buy these and so yeah I got some that are kind of like a lavender pink color I used to get pink ones but these are like a lavender color and they're really pretty so I have way more than I need but these last me a long time I also do go through them quite a bit because I do send junk journal kits to my patrons um, and so then this is a, a newer product I buy these types of bags a lot but I haven't bought this exact print I think it's a pack of 50 I don't know why I keep turning them over and over but um, they're kind of like a vintage like can you see there's like a little bit of writing on here or it looks like there's like a stamp I don't know these are really cool they almost look kind of leathery but I love how they have like this kind of stamp mark and I love the color so I will definitely continue to buy this um, exact one here these are really fun to put in a journal or send happy mail into so I'm really excited that I went ahead and got those what else oh something that I've been buying since the start are these manila tags I believe these ones are from Avery but again I'll have my link below because I don't remember oh here we go nope these ones are not so I usually buy the Avery brand but for whatever reason I bought this brand this time I think it's because the Avery were like more expensive or something but this is the size four and three fourths of a quarter by two and three fourths they're manila they're reinforced and this is a pack of a hundred but again I go through these uh pretty quick and I like these ones because these are really fun to either collage on you can journal on them or you can sew on them and they're heavy duty but they're not like too thick if that makes sense so you can layer things and they'll be just fine for a journal not too bulky or anything so yeah and I love that they already have the uh, strings on them because it's nice to just grab one and put it in a journal when I'm working on one so sticking on tags let's go here I think this is another hundred pack these are fun I always love layaway tags and I don't know uh, repair tag type things and so these ones um, are just slightly bigger just slightly 
and so let's see they also have like um this part here where you can whoops i'm so sorry about my focus you can um it's perforated right here basically and so you can tear it in half if you want i don't usually do that but you can if you need a smaller tag again they're reinforced good quality fun to alter and fun to just do journaling on in your journals or to add into journals that you are making what else um oh this was a fun purchase so these are little mini envelopes, but I got this whole pack. I think it was like 96 of them. And these are so cute. I've been using these for a long time. They used to be more expensive, but I, like I said, I recently found this pack that has 96 of them. And um, I'll go through and show you the different, they have different um, little designs on them, but they're all kind of like vintage style. And they're just so cute. So nice to have some things that are just pre-made and ready to go in a journal in my opinion. And I like this pack since it has a few different styles. Like this one has a little bird, so perfect for a nature journal. But then if you're doing more vintage journals, something like this with the stamps works good. I, if I remember correctly, I think there's 12 different designs in this pack, so it's honestly pretty good. Now I think you can get a smaller set also. You don't have to only get the 96 pack um so it just seemed to be the best price and especially since i include these in happy mail and whatnot kind of a more victorian i think so lots of fun little designs in here oh, such a cute little fox oh my gosh this is really fun too that kind of reminds me of tim holtz i i just don't know how to fix my focusing if you guys have a canon g7x mark ii Please tell me, how do I fix the focusing? <laughs> it just keeps focusing on things in the background, so annoying. Okay, what else? Um, let's stick to paper goods. I got a 50 pack, I think, of library cards. And these are just plain library cards, but they have the pocket and they have the card. And I typically will decorate or alter this part for uh, to to match whatever theme journal I am working on. And then the thing I really like about these is that they are also adhesive on the back. So that's nice to have. I needed some new ones of those. Um, I am working on, oh, these are so fun. So I am working on my, my uh, March Patreon mail and I'm doing some pressed flower tags and one reason why I needed that acetate but I have pressed flowers of my own my teeny tiny stash but I didn't have a ton and so I looked on Amazon and I couldn't believe that you could buy so many different pressed flowers so obviously these ones are just leaves four leaf clovers and ferns and things like that but I also bought some actual gorgeous flowers maybe I should show them to you I've showed them in a couple videos recently but in case you have not seen let me just grab a pack really quick so here are the pink ones they have all kinds of different colors though and seriously guys these are just gorgeous they are good quality they came packed really well and so I'm so excited to have those and be able to use those okay Next up, these two things sort of go together. Well, I bought this huge thing of Hug Snug uh, seam binding. If you are making journals, chances are you use seam binding. Maybe not, I just know a lot of people do. And it can be expensive if you're buying it dyed and crinkled on Etsy. I definitely love to support small shops. I buy this, I buy it already made on Etsy all the time. However, if you're like me, you also like to make your own supplies to cut costs down sometimes. And so that's why I went ahead this time to buy the 100 yards of seam binding. It's a ton and it's really easy to make your own crinkled um, dyed seam binding. Oh my gosh, where are my words? So I also got this newer color and I have one more coming. It's called, I don't know, crushed rose or something. I don't know. It's a very, very light pink, but this one's a very, very light lavender. And so this is what I'm going to use to dye my, um, seam binding. And you can use like 
inked you can use other dyes and you know, there's so many different ways that you can dye it but I'm gonna go ahead and try it with this I have made this before but I don't think I've used the oxide so I'm gonna try that out and if you guys want I can make a video and show you but there's already a ton of videos from people who know how to do it way better than me but um, I did test out just on the end there the lavender and it's super light but it's so pretty and in real life you can see the color more and it was just a quick little test right there so I was excited to get that so that I can make my own crinkled seam binding and I just want to show you a few more things that I already have out like I said it's coming I didn't want to wait to film this video though and these are just things I buy over and over and over which is why I have more coming they are bulb pens these are just perfect for journals and for um, adding little charms and bells that's the other thing I wanted to show you real quick teeny little bells and I get them from Amazon of course you can get like a pack of a thousand of these for a really good deal same with the little bells and they're good quality and what I like to do is take little bulb pins you can of course add charms or beads so many different things I just love the shape I think they are so cute but I love adding some jingle to my journals not just Christmas journals but sorry guys I have my door open because the Sun is shining and it's gorgeous outside today but anyways this is what I like to do and then I'll hang this on like a tab of my, one of the journals I'm working on kind of like this one right here just kind of hang it on the side so you have some fun little metal dangles on the side so I wanted to show that and then the last thing that I have to mention is if you're coming to this video to get lots of ideas for what you can buy on Amazon for your junk journals is my sewing machine, which is right over here. I'm only mentioning it just because it's something that I use every single day for making journals and for my own journal and it's a decent price it's a good price actually I shouldn't say decent I think it's a great price for a sewing machine and not only that but it is just such a good quality sewing machine I have lots of other videos on the sewing machine if you want more information on it but I just wanted to mention it since we're doing kind of a favorite junk journal supply video since you can get it on Amazon. And there's probably so many more things that I love buying for junk journals on Amazon. And if I can think of any of those things that I did not show today that came in my haul, I will also have those in a separate list down below. If you want to share with me anything that you love from Amazon that you use in junk journaling, please leave it down below so we can all check it out. I would love that. And that's all for today's video, guys. P.S. I have like 15 more wallpaper books coming that I will be sharing with you in a video that I got for free. And I'm going to be making some fun things for my shop really soon. Okay, guys. I love you. I'll talk to you later. Bye.